Okay, in this tutorial we're going to look at um, how we can use the following formula to um, solve questions involving ray diagrams um, for mirrors, for concave and convex mirrors. Um, so a formula like this is used when you want to work out, um, well normally you're given the focal length, that's f, you're given the object distance, that's the, the distance from the object to the mirror, and you're asked to work out the, the image distance, so where the image is located. Um, in addition to that, you're also sometimes asked to work out the magnification factor. Now the magnification is equal to the um, image distance divided by the object distance, and um, it's also equal to the image height divided by the object height. So those really are the three formulas that you've got to be familiar with um, for Year 12 NCA Physics. Okay, so let's start with um, <clears throat> a concave mirror example. Um, to give it a bit of a con context or a, a diagram to go with it, let's have our mirror sitting here, and let's imagine that the object is at a distance of, um, let's just make it 10 centimeters. Okay, so this distance from the object to the mirror is 10 centimeters. And we have a focal point sitting at um, three centimeters. Okay, so um, that's three centimeters here from there back to the the pole of the mirror. And um, doing a, a quick sketch to begin with, so we know sort of where we're heading. Um, if we have a light ray that's going to use green for my light rays, a light ray come in parallel, that's going to go back through the focal point. If we have a light ray come through the focal point towards the mirror, it's going to come back parallel. So you can see from this that we should have an image uh, located that is uh, real. Okay, it's on the real side of the, uh, the mirror. Um, inverted and uh, magnified or uh, and, and, uh, diminished depending on um, the accuracy of my drawing, and given my drawing is pretty terrible, um, we'll find out using formulas. Okay, so let's determine the, the distance the images from the, um, the mirror using the, uh, the mirror formula. So the formula states that 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di. And we're trying to work out what the, the image distance here is. Um, so we know the focal length is three centimeters. Now in this case, because the focal point is on the real side of the mirror, it's a real focus, it's a positive number. You've got to be very careful because with convex mirrors, you actually have to put f as negative in the formula. And if you don't do that, you'll, um, you'll get the answer wrong in most cases. So f is equal to three centimeters, and it's a positive three. Um, the object distance is 10 centimeters and we want to find the image distance. All right, putting numbers in means we have one divided by three it is one over 10 uh, plus one over die. Now probably the easiest way by far to solve this question is if you don't like algebra is to use um, solver in your calculator. Um, so I'll quickly show you how to do that. Um, so we go into the menu mode, we go to equation and we're into solver. Okay, so in solver we have 1 over 3 and that is equal to um, <clears throat> 1 over 10 plus 1 over x. And hitting solve we have an answer of uh, 4.29 4 Okay, so 4.29. So using solver saves quite a bit of mucking around <clears throat> with rearranging that kind of thing. So going back to my diagram, you can see how badly I drew it because uh, looking at the scale there, 4.29 centimeters seems a way off. Um, what I've got, in fact, what I've got looks more like, more close to 10. Um, but that's why you would do this properly with a ruler and, and do it at scale. So the image distance will be 4.29 centimeters. This means that if we were to stick a screen 4.29 centimeters from the mirror, you would be able to focus an image 
uh, being a real image on that screen. Um, from here we could then go away and work out the magnification of the image and the magnification formula states that m is equal to to di image distance divided by do object distance. And so putting numbers into the equation uh, that would be 4.29 divided by 10 which will be equal to 0 0.429 um, or 0.43. Now, of course, magnification has got no units. It's uh, just going to be meters divided by meters, the formula here, using dimensional analysis. So uh, they cancel out. You've got no units. So what does 0.43 mean? Well, it means it's diminished. Um, I mean, you think about uh, what it would be if it was 0 0.5. 0 0.5 would mean half as big. Uh, 0.43 would be uh, smaller still. Um, so magnification is either going to be it's going to be number number between zero and uh, well really infinity I guess um, anything between between zero and one well less than one okay uh, would be diminished and one would be the same size as the object and anything greater than one means it's magnified uh, for example if it came out to be two that would mean that the image was twice as big so in this case our image is um, diminished now. If you were given the, the height of the, the object, let's imagine that you were told the object height was um, 2 centimeters, then you could then go ahead and work out what the theoretical height of the image should be. Um, because m is equal to, to um, the height of the image divided by the height of the object, so high over high. And um, that means that putting numbers in um, m equals high divided by high. So m was 0 0.43, that's equal to um, the unknown, divided by, and remember I told you that was 2, so doing a bit of rearranging, the height of the image will be 2 times 0.43, which is 0 0.86. So looking at that, um, we can see that the object height is less than the image height, which makes sense because of the magnification here being 0.43. So that's probably going to get you, um, I don't know, somewhere between achievement merit uh, for doing similar questions. Now, I want to give you a slightly different scenario to show you how this can change. Let's imagine that um, for the same mirror, so it's a concave, concave mirror, Okay, we have a, um, a focal length of uh, 8 centimeters, and we have a object distance of only 4 centimeters. Now this is a case where the object is in front of the focal point, and if you remember back to my previous uh, tutorial, when that happens, you actually end up with a, um, a magnified virtual image. And hopefully we can confirm that using some numbers. So we want to work out the image position. And while we're there, we'll also determine the magnification of the object. Okay, so using the formula, 1 over f is 1 over do plus 1 over di. In this case, our f is positive. It's a concave mirror. It's a real focus. So we can go 1 over 8 is equal to 1 over... 4 plus, um, plus 1 over die. Okay, so sticking that into our calculator. Um, right, delete the last one. So 1 over 8 is equal to 1 over 4 plus 1 over x. Okay, so we get an answer of negative 8. So in this case, di, di is equal to negative 8 centimeters. So what does that negative sign mean? It means that the image is located behind the mirror, which confirms that this is a virtual 
image. So just by looking at the sign of the, the number that comes out of a die, you will, it can tell you whether the image is real or virtual. We can then go out, go away and work out the magnification of the image. That's just going to be die over doe, which in this case will be negative 8 divided by 4, which comes out to be negative 2. Now the negative sign doesn't really have a lot of meaning here, so in actual fact it's just 2, uh, which means that the image would be twice as large as the object. Now we could easily confirm this with a ray diagram, um, even a rough one would do. So if I have my, my mirror sitting here like this, I have my object here, but my focal point is um, way back here. A light ray that's moving parallel to the principal axis will go back through the focal point. A light ray that moves from the focal point up to the mirror will come back parallel. Those two light rays do not uh, converge on the side, therefore we dot the reflected light rays back and that gives us an image located on the virtual side and even with my rough diagram it does look like the image is twice as high as the object. Okay, so let's now look at a question involving um, convex lenses. Okay, so, sorry, convex mirrors. Um, so convex mirror, we know that we have a situation where we're going to get a virtual image produced, no matter where the object is. So if I have my object here, and my virtual focus is back here, doing a really quick sketch here, parallel line comes in to the principal axis, it will reflect in line with the uh, focal point. If I aim it towards the focal point like this, it's going to come back parallel. And where the reflected light rays come together, we're going to have our, our image. So whatever happens, we're expecting to get a, a virtual image produced when we do the calculations. Let's imagine that you're told that this distance here is um, 10 centimeters, and this distance here is 5 centimeters. We want to use that information to determine the, um, the location of the image. And at the same time, we'll, we'll quickly work out the magnification factor as well. So we grab our, the usual formula. 1 over f is equal to 1 over do plus 1 over di. And we write down what we've got. So this 10 centimeters here, that's going to be your object distance. All right, we're also given the focal length. But here's the trick, it is negative 5 centimetres. That negative sign, I can't stress enough, is so important. If you forget the negative sign, you're going to run into trouble. It's negative because it's a virtual focus. We then put numbers into the equation. Okay, so um, looking at this, 1 divided by negative 5 will be equal to 1 divided by 10 plus 1 divided by die. All right, we want to chuck that information into into solver. Okay, so uh, what was it? One over negative five is equal to one over ten plus one over x. Chuck that in. Out comes our number: negative three point three. So die is equal to negative 3.3 centimeters. Does that make sense? Well, yes, it does. The negative sign tells us that it's a virtual image, which we got here. Um, and look, even looking at the diagram, it, it, um, our image distance is smaller than our object distance, so it does look like it's right. Next step is to work out the magnification. Um, we would expect, based on the diagram, that it should be a number between 0 and 1 because it's diminished. Let's quickly work this out. m is equal to die divided by do. Uh, negative 3.3 divided by 10. Just move the decimal place one back. Negative 0 0.33. Again, the negative sign doesn't really mean a lot. just means that it's a virtual. So the magnification is 0 0.33, which tells us that um, it's almost three times smaller. It's uh, uh, diminished. So that's the only other trick really with um, 
with uh, well, the difference between concave and convex is that for a convex mirror, you always use the f as negative. Um, the same thing actually applies with lenses, and um, we'll talk about how it applies for lenses in the next tutorial.